up YouTube to some of those share with the translation that I'm getting from Wikipedia of these cards. Well, the ones I have anyway. This is Supreme Wild Gleam Magnum Overlord L. He's well, a piece of a maximum monster. If you guys haven't seen the show. Because we're going to try to get much done within 15 minutes. Oh, he's a yeah, maximum mode required. Sorry, Keith, I forgot that I had to um, translate everything on this card from what we. Okay, um, his dark machine monster. Level 4, 800 attack, 0 defense. Requirement, maximum mode. To this effect, this card is attack equal to the number of monsters your opponent on your opponent's side of the field times 500. If you have 10 or more monsters in your GY, this card inflicts piercing bound damage. If this card attacks, or if the attack of the attacking monster exceeds its defense of the attack target, inflict the, the difference. If the attack, if it, if it attacks a defense monster. And my computer needs to hurry up. <laughs> what I'm going to do is a, a two-parter. Okay, let's see. Okay, this is Darkness Zero Rogue. 600 defense, 21 defense. Level 7. Spellcaster. Requirement if you have 8 or more Dark Attribute Spellcaster type monsters in your GY during the main phase, this card was special summon. Its effect is to destroy all face up level 8 or lower monsters your opponent, on your opponent's side of the field. On your opponent's field. I got a couple of, uh, Darkness Force, for is Force Seeker, it's spelled, it's the middle part of his name is spelled F-O-U-R-C-E. Dark Attribute Spellcaster, Effect Monster, with 1100 attack, 600 defense. If you have three or more Dark Type Spellcaster Monsters with different levels in your GY, the effect is, set the top 
four cards of reduct to the grave. You should take GY. This turn, this card, you can only attack with dark entry spellcaster type monsters. If you're good, if you're running like a dark magician deck. Darkness Rogue. Super rare. Spellcaster, level 2, 700 attack, 600 defense. You normal summon this card. Oh, you, requirement. You normal summon this card this turn. You have another monsters on your field. Its effect is special summon one dark attribute spellcaster monster from your hand face up to your field, then place this card from the field to the bottom of the of the deck. Then we got Seven Roots Magician. His effect is, or his requirement is, or he's a dark spellcaster monster, level 7, 21 attack, 15 defense. His requirement First effect is set one card from the top of your deck to the GUI. Then this card and uh, its effect is that this card gains 300 attack for every different monster in your GUI with a different attribute. At least I think that's how it's put in here. Okay, so yeah. So, requirement sends the top card of your deck to the GOI. In fact, this card gains attack equal to the number of different attribute monsters in your graveyard by 300 till the end of this turn. Sorry about that. I'm just making sure I'm just getting it right. I mean, I watched the show, so, and the Effects are pretty similar. Let's see, some roads walk, I believe. Yeah, seven roads. Seven roads warlock. Five storm, dark attribute spellcaster type monster. Eleven hundred attack, seventeen hundred defense. Requirement: send one trap card from your hand to the GY. Its effect is that. At one level seven or higher, dark attribute spellcaster monster from your GUI to your hand. Then, if you added the seven rose magician to your hand, by this effect, you can add one level six or higher spellcaster monster from your GUI to your hand. Yeah, you guys can see the rarities. I think. No, that's the Rose Mage. Okay. Beast Summer is up next. Level 4 Dark Edge Spellcaster Monster With uh, 900 attack, 700 defense Requirements If your opponent has a face up level 6 or higher monster on the field Send this card face up From the field to the GUI so like this, special on one level seven beast, beast warrior, or wing beast type monster from your hand to the field, face up. Then we got Mystic Dealer.
Yeah. His three star water spellcaster monster with a thousand attack, zero defense. Requirements send one spellcaster type monster from your hand to the GY, and his effect allows you to draw one card. Then magical stream. Normal spell requirement. If you have a face of spell cast type monster on your field, just show one spell slash trap card on your opponent's field. Dark curtain. Okay. Requirement is to pay, it's a no spell requirement, pay a thousand life points, special some one spell cast monster from your uh, from your hand face up to your field. It cannot be destroyed by your opponent's trap uh, trap card effects this turn. Yeah, I'm going to have this multi parter Next up is Road Magic Dark Knight. It's an old spell card. Permit is if you have a space of stuff, level 7 or Dark Knight Star Monster on your field, send one Dark Attribute Monster from your hand to the GUI. Select to destroy one face up monster your opponent control or on your opponent's field. I don't know why I want to keep uh, adding your opponent controls. <laughs> Darkness Road. Field spell. No requirements. This, while this card is face up on the field zone, face up. Level 5 or higher dark attribute spellcaster type monsters on the field gain 5 uh, 400 attack but lose 1500 defense. Which to me that's kind of a crappy trade off, but hey, it gives a power boost. Next up is Seven Roads Protection. It's an old trap. Requirement one when your when your opponent normal sends a monster, the effect is all dark attribute spellcaster monsters on your side of the field cannot be destroyed by be destroyed by your opponent's card effects this turn. If you have seven rose magician in your GY, you can change that opponent's normal sum monster in the face of defense. Curtain of Sparks. It's a normal trap. Requirements when your opponent monster declares an attack and you have a spell scout type monster in your GY. The effect is the tag monster loses 500 attack until the end of this turn. If you guys like the view, please hit the like button down below. I'll see you guys in the next view. Later.